Good morning, students. How are you all? Hope you are fit and fine at your homes. Our today's topic is chapter number fifth, the magpies lesson. So, magpies are found in Europe, America, and Australia. They are white and black in color, and they are sociable birds. Sociable means found of company, and they love brightly colored objects which they often steal from people's garden garden so before starting the chapter firstly we will learn the meaning of difficult words so first of all sociable sociable means found of company broken broken means interrupted cliff cliff means a high area of land which steep side usually next to sea Meadow. Meadow means open grassy area. Dome. Dome means rounded roof-like structure. Barns. Barns. Barns means large buildings where animals or crops were kept. Eaves. Eaves means the lower edge of the roof. So students, we read the chapter with the help of some attractive colorful pictures related to your chapter so let's start the chapter years and years ago our so many years ago only one bird in the whole world knew how to build a nest that wise bird was the magpie one day all the birds went to the magpie they wanted to learn how to build nests. They begged the magpie to teach them. Indeed, I will be glad to teach you, said Mrs. Magpie. Just watch and listen to me. First, you must choose a tall tree like a great oak. Then, take sticks. A tree broke in the bold eagle a tree had here in this valley no trees no valleys for me my nesters shall be on the highest cliff of the mountain and away flew the eagle without waiting to hear more of the magpie's lesson to this day he puts together a few rough sticks on a rocky mountain cliff and calls them a nest. The magpie begins again. Take sticks like these, she said, to a high branch. Are you a fool? cried Lark. Don't you know the, that the first strong wind, wind will blow your nest to the ground and the first wife who comes this way will throw stones at it added mrs bobling no high branches of for us sang the lark and bobling together and and down they flew into all into the tall grasses of meadow there they have made their nests ever since. Mrs. Magpie didn't even look at the birds flying away. Wave the sticks together so in and out, she said cheerfully. That will make a bottom of, of the nest. I'll not uh, set my nest on the branch like that, spoke the Oriole. The wind surely would blow me it off as the lark just said and oriole flew away and hung her nest from little twigs there you may see it even today swinging in the wind far out at the end of a long branch cover the inside of your nest with mud Mrs. Magpie went on. Then, line it with soft grass 
So, dear, dear, so much work to make a nest, yawned the whip poor will. I'm not going to take the trouble. And the lazy bird hasn't made a nest from that day to this. She just lays her eggs in a hollow in the ground or perhaps in a, on a log. Who, who, who would go to all that trouble? Who did the all? I think I have a better plan. She looked very wise, but said no more. You can guess what her plan was when. You find her eggs in a crow's or a hawk's old nest. Now take more mud and sticks, began the magpie once more. You should build a dome over your nest. That is to hide and the little ones and to keep out the rain. Oh, never mind the dome, said Robin. I would... I will cover my little ones with my wings. I can hide them and keep off the rain. You are right, Mrs. Robin, said the crow. We have no use of domes and to this day, neither robins nor crows have built domes over their nests. Mrs. Magpie went on building her nest just as she knew it ought to be built. Soon it was done, dome and all. Indeed, Mrs. Magpie said, the swallow, We like your nest. The dome is a fine thing, but why should we build it? There are plenty of domes already built. We only need to make our nests under them. Ever since then many swallows built their nests on buildings often under a roof or a window ledge. Others have made their under roofs of open barns and still others under eaves. So all the birds flew away and left Mrs. Magpie without saying thank you. Each one built her nest as she pleased and each one thought her way so much better than the magpies. The magpie still builds her nest at the top of high tree. She makes it of mud and sticks and cover it with a, do with a dome to make it comfortable and cozy. So students hope you really enjoyed and understand the chapter. So, stay at home, stay safe, enjoy your day. Thank you.